Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and welcome back to another video and today it's time for another PC build. So well, I wanted a new system for 4K video editing and gaming and I built this beauty right over here. Now before I was using a Huawei MateBook X Pro for video editing for work for everything with an eGPU at 1070 and I wanted something more powerful. Unfortunately, last week when I traveled to Munich, my backpack got stolen with the notebook, with the camera, so everything I have got stolen and I'm so pissed right now. Anyway, big thanks to Sony for borrowing me a camera to shoot the video. Unfortunately, also the footage of building the computer was on the camera, so I can only show you the computer today as it is and also tell you something about the components and why I picked the parts you can see right over here. Also today we're hosting a massive giveaway. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. Um, I didn't celebrate um, 300k or 350k subscribers, but now I want to give something back to you. So what you can win today is my computer, which I've built from Wish Parts with a signature. Um, it's a really cool thing. I also repaired the GPU. There will be a video very soon on that. Then you can also win a Fairphone 3, which is a modular phone. It's a really cool phone because it's made out of fair resources, fair working conditions and you can fully take it apart and take out the uh, single modules, a really cool phone. And for all the audio freaks, I'm giving away my second pair of the WF-1000 XMAC-3 Sony in-ear headphones. So yeah, participate in the giveaway. The link is down below. You can find all the instructions there and I would say good luck guys and let's have a closer look at all the components. <laughs> So I wanted to build a perfect system to edit my 4K videos, but also to game in between demanding games like DayZ or The Escape of Tarkov. Also wanted no HDDs in my system, as I have a big NAS system where I store all my video footage. I've chosen the Be Quiet Silent Base 801 as a case because it's fully modular, offers plenty of space and it's the perfect case when you want to build a system without HDDs. Also it offers good airflow by still being pretty quiet. Be Quiet did a really good job with this one and it's not too expensive at all. Up until July 2019, Intel has pretty much been the leader when it comes to the most powerful CPU. But with the release of the new AMD Ryzen 3900X 12-core processor on July the 7th, for the first time in a while, AMD is pulling ahead of Intel. The Ryzen 9 3900X offers great multi-core performance and rocks all the benchmarks in video rendering ahead of the Intel i9 9900K. At roughly the same price at the first glance, the Ryzen 12-core processor seems like a much better value considering it beats the Intel i9 9900K at most tasks. Another notable mention is that the new AMD Ryzen processors also make use of PCI Express 4.0, while the Intel 9th generation still use the older PCI Express generation. With PCI Express 4.0 you can use the new generation 4 SSDs and one of the best choices right now is the Gigabyte or Aorus generation 4 SSD because it offers super crazy speeds at a good price. It's probably the first time I see such a large heatsink unit on the M.2 SSD because the Aorus NVMe Generation 4 SSD 1TB comes with a copper heatsink on both on its top and bottom. This SSD was co-developed between Gigabyte and Python and in my tests I've seen read speeds of up to 5000 MB per second. This is one of the fastest 1TB SSDs I've seen so far. Literally nothing else comes close to the performance of it. It's simply amazing to see speeds coming up to 5 GB per second on the benchmark tests while still being quite affordable compared to Intel Optane SSDs. So if you're adopting to the new 3rd generation AMD Ryzen processors with the new X570 chips at motherboards, then the Aorus NVMe Generation 4 SSD is really highly recommended. Also even though it comes with this massive heatsink, there is no sign of overheating on my system or thermal throttling. So they did a really good job with the design of it. I did choose the Biostar Racing X570 GT8 because of the Generation 4 compatibility and also because it is the perfect motherboard for a system without hard drives. It has three NVMe 4.0 PCIe ports with included heatsinks and it's also quite affordable. There are plenty of features including the new PCIe 4.0 standard on three PCIe 4.0 x16 slots, two of which have iron slot protection, as well as three PCIe 4.0 x1 slots. 
Also it has dual BIOS, an LED error code display with buttons, active cooling for the chipset and support for memory speeds of up to DDR4-4400 plus OC. So if you need an affordable feature-packed X570 motherboard for your 3rd generation Ryzen processors, then you need to check out the Biostar Racing X570 GT8 motherboard. The only things I didn't like are the old fashioned looking BIOS and it's not so easy to overclock your memory on the board, but except of that it's a pretty good one. As RAM I picked 32GB of DDR4-3200 with CL16. The Aorus RGB memory is impressive in design and build quality, making it not only a great option for gaming systems, but also for general case PC users too. I could have gotten 3600MHz RAM for the same price, but the Aorus is just looking amazing and I really wanted to have RGB RAM and I'm going to overclock anyway. Also if you buy this dual memory kit, there is a surprise. Well, Aorus actually solved a long-standing problem that memory kits have had for a long time. Namely, what happens if you buy a dual RAM kit and you want to fill the whole slots for that delicious looking RGB effect. The solution? Well, there are dummy RAMs included which only do the glowing bit. So for all the RGB lovers on budget, here is your solution. And also with the XMP profiles, you get top-notch performance with 3200MHz speed out of the box. Now the RTX 2060 cards are definitely a favorite amongst the gamers, as they are the least expensive in the RTX series, but still offer great performance for 1080p and 1440p gaming in most situations. For 4K video editing the GPU performance is not that important, so if you are building a PC for video editing, a 2060 is definitely enough. But if you are into higher resolution gaming, then you might want to switch to a higher tier. I've chosen the Gigabyte RTX 2060 Gaming OC Pro 6GB card. This card features a factory overclock with a GPU boost of up to 1830 MHz compared to the reference of 1680 MHz. It also comes with Gigabyte's WinForce cooling system, RGB lighting and even a full cover backplate. Gigabyte is using a custom PCB on this card with a 6 plus 2 power phase design compared to the 4 plus 2 reference. Then there is also a factory overclock and this is going to give you a few more frames in games and also better performance when doing heavy effects in your videos. The card itself is a bit longer than most cards but this is due to the custom PCB and the really good cooling solution they have built in. Also the Gigabyte logo has RGB backlight and you can control the color with the software on the motherboard as well. As far as the output connections on the card, there are three DisplayPort 1.4 ports and a single HDMI 2.0b port which work fine with my 4K Samsung monitor. 4K gaming is possible in games with not too demanding graphics and silky ray traced 1080p gaming is no problem at all. However, if you max out newer games in 4K, it drops mostly under the playable 30fps limit, especially with anti-aliasing turned on. But for high-end gaming and not boasting your budget, the Gigabyte RTX 2060 OC Gaming Pro is a really good choice. To cool the whole system, I'm using a PC cooler water cooling solution with a 360mm radiator. This water cooler is extremely affordable and gets produced by PC Cooler in China. PC Cooler was an OEM company but now pushes their own brand and makes really good water coolers. When I tried to overclock my 3900X, I could easily get 4.1 GHz while still having my temperatures below 40 degrees under load and around 28 degrees at idle. I also replaced the Be Quiet 140mm fans with PC Cooler fans and not because of the airflow but because of the looks. The Be Quiet fans are extremely good, so they are quiet, they have good airflow, but I really wanted some nice RGB look on the system, so I replaced them. And to be honest, I really love the design of their fans. The color also synchronizes with the motherboard via the built-in RGB control of the motherboard, and the case also offers plenty of space for fans, so you can get a really good airflow on the system. Also, the case offers a fan controller on the front panel with three modes including auto mode and all the fans have to be connected to the rear control panel which takes care of the fan speed. The front panel also offers plenty of features such as free USB ports and headphone and a microphone jack, but unfortunately no USB-C port. One of the most important parts on a high-end system is the power supply. Seasonic has expanded its Prime series and introduced new models that offer outstanding efficiency, high performance, modular cable management and a really stylish design. In addition to high efficiency, the perfectly matched electronic components also employ improved voltage regulation, improved fan control, 
a quiet 135mm fan on top of a 12 year manufacturer's warranty. It doesn't have any fancy RGB lights, but on a power supply, that's the least important thing. The Seasonic Prime 1300W Platinum is extremely efficient due to the use of high quality capacitors. This 80 plus platinum certified power supply achieves an efficiency of up to 94% at 50% load. And also this PSU features a hybrid mode. Seasonic has a lot of experience in designing the most silent and efficient power supplies on the market. And they also developed the new hybrid mode. It's basically a state of the art fan control that enables users to keep the overall fan noise at the lowest possible level. And it's really unhearable. So that's all from my build so far. Overall I'm super happy with the system and its performance for gaming and video editing. I will follow up with a few overclocking guides on the CPU, GPU and also benchmark video. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you have questions about this build or if you want to build a system and you have a few questions and if you want to know anything about video editing or which parts you should pick for your gaming PC, then write a comment down below. I was building computers since I was six years old and yeah, I built quite a lot of systems and I have to say I really like this one. At this point, also big thanks to Gigabyte for supplying um, all the Gigabyte parts. Big thanks to Seasonic for this amazing power supply. To Be Quiet for the case, to Biostar for the motherboard. PC Cooler, also big thanks for supplying me a lot of water coolers. And yeah, what should I say? I'm totally in love with the system. Now, I wish all of you guys good luck for the giveaway. Um, check out the link down below once again. And as always, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.